All right, folks, so it's uh, July 2nd. The garden is in full force right now. I'm getting zucchini pretty much every day. And uh, one of the things I like to make when I get an excess amount of zucchini, or if I have zucchini that's gotten to be too large uh, because it's been hidden underneath the leaves or something like that, or I just overlooked it. Um, so I like to make zucchini bread out of that sort of thing. So this is a zucchini that is literally probably five or six inches in diameter about a foot and a half foot foot and a half in length and a little bit bigger than what I normally use to grill with so to make zucchini bread uh, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees I've actually got that done already I've already got my loaf pans ready I'm using uh, cast iron lodge pans uh, generally out of this recipe you can get two pans sometimes three so I've got three ready to go you're gonna need two bowls and you're gonna have to excuse the ants when I say I live in the country I really mean I live in the country so if you see an ant on the countertop that is just normal life out here you're gonna need two bowls you're gonna need a large bowl and a smaller bowl um, you're going to need all-purpose flour. You're going to need salt. You're going to need nutmeg. You're going to need baking soda. You're going to need ground cinnamon. You're going to need sugar. Vegetable oil four eggs, uh, a third cup of water, uh, two cups of grated zucchini, lemon juice, and walnuts. Walnuts, four of my garden fresh eggs, lemon juice. All right, so I have to keep referring to my phone because this is a recipe that I just don't know off the top of my head. So in the first bowl, you're going to combine three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour normally I pre-measure this stuff out when I do these videos but I just didn't have time to pre-measure this one and really I had planned on doing this after it got dark tonight but since we just had a thunderstorm roll through I can't really do much outside so I might as well just go ahead and do it now plus it'll give me the opportunity to have some of this before I go to bed it's about 6 p.m. right now so I'm doing this earlier than I thought, which is why I'm kind of unorganized, but you get the idea. So three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. The other thing I didn't do is I didn't pre-measure this out. Did I already say that? I probably already said that. And a lot of times in recipes, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't necessarily always get it exact. If some spills over, I don't worry about it. And I didn't sift this flour or anything, so this ought to be interesting. I'm going to call that good. One, two, three. I need a quarter cup. I don't care if this one spills over because the other ones were a little bit weak. Three and a quarter cups. The next thing you need is one and a half teaspoons of salt. I generally use sea salt. Sometimes I'll use just regular table salt. I'm going to call that good. Next thing you need, one teaspoon of nutmeg. Like I said, I generally eyeball this stuff. I get it close and call it good. Then you need two teaspoons of baking soda. Usually what I do when I'm cooking with baking soda is I make the recipe, then I stick the rest in the refrigerator. Then the next thing you need is one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I usually go pretty heavy on the cinnamon.
three cups of sugar. And because each three of those were a little weak, I'm going to go with just a little bit more. Um, so now we're getting into the wet liquids and what you're going to do in the second bowl. So we need one cup of vegetable oil. I almost didn't have enough. Now's when you need the four eggs. The eggs should be lightly beaten. Basically, I just mix it up until, I don't know if you can see that or not, until the oil and the eggs looks relatively mixed. After that, we need one third cup of water. 